Hello you guys and welcome back to Brittany Allen Crafts. I have four Valentine DIYs for you. So go ahead and get your craft supplies out and let's get to crafting. So for this first DIY, I have this jar from Walmart. You can pick it up for about four bucks. So I'm using this faux snow. Dollar Tree even had some faux snow there for a bit uh, around Christmas. All right, now just place in one of those berry garlands from the Dollar Tree. They do come in gold and white as well. All right, so now you're just going to want to place in some of these foam hearts from the Dollar Tree. And then some fairy lights. You can get them at the Dollar Tree. I found mine at Target for about three or four bucks. And mine are 10 feet, which seemed to be the perfect amount. But this is how it turned out. I think it turned out so pretty. This was actually a Christmas craft that I transformed into a Valentine's Day DIY. But so let's go ahead and move on to our second DIY. We are going to use some of those tags from the Dollar Tree. And we're just going to remove that ribbon, flip them over. And then I'm going to remove that tag from the back. You can just sand off the glitter from the front. But I'm going to remove that sticker and then I'm just going to sand down that tacky glue as well as the chalk paint from a previous DIY. Alright, now using some Antique White by Folk Art, I'm going to go ahead and give both of my signs two coats of paint. And now for the second sign, I'm actually just priming that one with the white paint. I'm going to cover that one with the Barn Red by Apple Barrel, as you'll see in just a moment. And you will want to prime if you're using this Barnyard Red by Apple Barrel because it's pretty sheer. And you really need that um, white paint underneath to make it pop, you know. So I found these letters at the Dollar Tree and I'm obsessed you guys. They are so cute. I love these so much more than the ones that they had before. So I'm just going to use my square and get those boys straight. And then for our second sign, I'm going to use these wood letters from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use that antique white to give them one or two coats. And then we'll just glue those on. So now I'm just going to use some hot glue to glue them together. And I didn't record this, but I added a little white rope bow and I used some rope from Walmart and I'll try to link everything that I can for you guys down in the description. So just go check that out to see what I was able to find for you guys. But all right, so this is our third DIY and you're actually going to need three of these hearts, not two. And we're just going to remove those stickers from the back. And then we're going to give each one of them three coats of ivory chalk paint by Waverly. So the glitter kept getting everywhere. So I went ahead once the paint dried and flipped all of my signs over and gave them just a coat of regular, regular old glue. If you're part of my group on Facebook, this was that new little technique that I was talking about. So what I did was I printed on the glossy paper that you can get at the Dollar Tree. And I don't have a laser printer. I have an inkjet. So um, it's a Canon Pixma. 
So what I did was I just flipped over the glossy side and I used the uh, matte side so that it's more like cardstock. If you have a laser printer, then you won't have to do like I did. You can just print it on to the glossy side and then use a pencil like we usually do on the back. But because I had to print on the matte side, I used a Sharpie to use on the glossy side so that it will transfer. If any of that makes sense, please let me know if it didn't. But the reason I did this was so that I can reuse these stencils and now they're just like regular stencils that you buy. So, you know, this will save a lot of ink. <laughs> and we know ink is expensive, a heck of a lot more than a Sharpie costs. So, it's worth it in my book. But as you've seen, I'm just using that Barnyard Red to paint the first mason jar. And then I'm using that chalkboard paint at Do from Dollar Tree to paint in the chalk sign. then I'm just going to write with my chalk pen, I love you. And I love this DIY so much because it's bringing a picture to life. You're putting something real on something fake <laughs> or something painted. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm making sense at all, but all right. So I'm just going to use that red barn dart, that barnyard red to paint in my heart on the second and third heart. And I didn't show me stenciling those because there was no real reason to do I'm using the multi-surface satin black by Apple Barrel to paint in the mason jars and I did go back over these guys and make them a little thicker and more bold So I ended up having to go back and paint in and fill in those red hearts because they were just a little too plain. Now I wanted this project to be simple. I was just, I don't know, I just wanted it to be very, very simple. So that's why I left it kind of bare. But I did go in with some jute and just wrap that around the top. And then I added a little bow and I did this to both the second and third um, hearts. All right, and this is how our third DIY turned out. I just placed it on my bar, and I think it's so cute. I, and do you guys love the windmill that my fiance got me in the background? I am obsessed with it. He did really good, you guys. So give him a round of applause because he nailed it on that one. But all right, let's go ahead and start on our fourth and final DIY. This one is mm, pretty dang close to being my favorite DIY at this time. All right, guys, for this last DIY, you're going to need some of these stackable jars from the Dollar Tree. And you're probably going to see me use these things a lot. Hopefully, when I go back, there are some more because I'm obsessed and they are so versatile. I'm just going to place in some of that faux snow. And then I didn't record this or I didn't add it in. I did record it. I didn't add it in of me painting the tractor or the truck. The truck, I had painted green and I painted it pink and then... The tractor, I painted it red and it was green. So I wanted it to be pink and red because of Valentine's Day. And so I just placed in some of those sparkly foam hearts. And then I placed in the tractor and then placed more snow into the other jar. Placed the truck in, placed in red hearts with the pink truck and pink hearts with the red tractor. Placed on the top and stacked those boys up. And you guys, I don't know, I just am obsessed with this DIY. It is so simple and so easy to do so budget friendly it looks amazing on my bar so let me know what you guys think tell me down in the description which is your favorite go ahead and subscribe join us on facebook and follow me on instagram and share this video thanks guys